Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be looking at 9.4 and 9.5 the product and the quotient rule for differentiation. Before we look at the product and the quotient rule for differentiation, I would like to recap all the differentiation rules we've covered so far. So rule number one, differentiating the sign, that is covered in video 9.1. Rule number two, differentiating the cos, that's covered in video 9.1. Rule number three, differentiating e to the power f of x, that is covered in video 9.2. Rule number four, differentiating a to the power f of x, where a is a constant greater than zero, that is covered in video 9.2. Rule number five, differentiating the natural logarithm, that is covered in video 9.2. Rule number six, differentiating f of x to the power n, that is covered in video 9.3. Rule number seven, the chain rule, that is covered in video 9.3. Rule number eight, differentiation from first principles, that there is covered in video 9.1. So if you find any of these differentiation rules tricky, I would advise you to watch the required video clips. So you've got 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9.1. Moving on to the product rule and the quotient rule for differentiation, I'm going to start off with the product rule. The product rule says if y is equal u of x multiplied by v of x, where u of x and v of x are both functions in x, then dy over dx is given by u of x multiplied by v dash of x plus v of x multiplied by u dash of x. In short, we can write u multiplied by v dash plus v multiplied by u dash. That there is a product rule for differentiation. The next rule is the quotient rule. The quotient rule says if y is equal u of x divided by v of x, where v of x is not equal to 0, and u of x and v of x are both functions in x, then dy over dx is given by v of x multiplied by u dash of x minus u of x multiplied by v dash of x all over v of x squared. In short, we can write v multiplied by u dash minus u multiplied by v dash all over v squared. I've got four equations up on the board and for each of the equations I want to find dy over dx. My starting point was to label the u and the v. So let's have a look at question number one. y is equal x squared multiplied by sine 3x. We've got u equal x squared. Differentiate u, you get 2x. We've got v equal sine 3x. Differentiate v gives you 3 cos 3x. Using the product rule for differentiation, we can write dy over dx is equal u v dash plus v u dash. Substitute the u, v dash, v and u dash into the product rule. Gives you the following result. x squared multiplied by 3 cos 3x plus sine 3x multiplied by 2x. I can rewrite this as 3x squared cos 3x plus 2x sine 3x. Question number two. I've got y equal e to the power 2x multiplied by sine 2x. u is equal e to the power 2x. Differentiate u gives you 2e to the power 2x. v is equal sine 2x. Differentiate v gives you 2 cos 2x. Now dy over dx, using the product rule for differentiation, is just u v dash plus v u dash. The next step is to put the u, v dash, v and u dash into the product rule. So this gives me e to the power 2x multiplied by 2 cos 2x plus sine 2x multiplied by 2 e to the power 2x. I can rewrite this as 2e to the power 2x cos 2x plus 2e to the power 2x sine 2x. Question number three, I've got y equal x to the power 4 divided by cos 3x. Now I've got a fraction over here so I need to use the quotient rule for differentiation. u is equal x to the power 4 Differentiate u gives you 4x cubed. v is equal cos 3x. 
differentiate v gives you minus 3 sine 3x. Now dy over dx using the quotient rule is just v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. So what I need to do now is substitute my v u dash u v dash and v squared into the quotient rule. Okay, so if I do this, I get cos 3x multiplied by 4x cubed minus x to the power 4 multiplied by minus 3 sine 3x all over v squared. So that would be cos 3x squared, okay, which can be written as cos squared 3x. Now you can actually simplify this, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Question number four. I've got y equal e to the power 2x divided by x minus 2 in bracket squared. Again, I've got a fraction, so I need to use the quotient rule for differentiation. u is equal e to the power 2x. If I differentiate u, I get 2e to the power 2x v is equal x minus 2 squared. If I differentiate v, I get, bring the power down, which is 2, x minus 2, subtract 1 from the power, which is going to give me 1, multiplied by the differential of x minus 2, which is 1. So that there is equivalent to 2 in bracket x minus 2. Right, dy over dx, using the quotient rule, is given by v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. I need to substitute v u dash u v dash and v squared into the quotient rule. So if I do this, I get x minus 2 squared multiplied by 2 e to the power 2x minus e to the power 2x multiplied by 2 in bracket x minus 2 all over v squared which will be x minus 2 to the power 4. Again you can actually simplify that but I'm just going to leave it there. Here is an exam style question. The curve C has equation y equal x over 9 plus x squared. Use calculus to find the coordinates of the turning points of C. In calculus we study both differentiation and integration. So when it says use calculus, you will either use differentiation or integration. In this question, we are working out the coordinates of the turning points on the curve C. So when we work out the coordinates of the turning points on the curve C, we know that we will be solving the equation dy over dx is equal to zero. So the appropriate technique of calculus that we have to use in this particular question is differentiation. The first step is to work out dy over dx. I've got y equal x over 9 plus x squared. I can label the numerator as u and the denominator as v. Okay, so I've got u is equal x. If I differentiate u, I get 1. I've got v is equal 9 plus x squared. If I differentiate v, I get 2x. Now over here, y is a fraction, so we have to use the quotient rule for differentiation. dy over dx using the quotient rule is given by v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. So now I can substitute my v u dash u v dash and v squared into dy over dx. And if I do this, I obtain the following equation. 9 plus x squared multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by 2x all over 9 plus x squared in bracket squared. Now, at a turning point on the curve C, I know that dy over dx is equal to 0. So, at a turning point, dy over dx is equal to 0. Now, dy over dx is equal to 0 implies that this particular fraction, okay, which I've written over here, is equal to 0. I can multiply both sides of this equation by 9 plus x squared in bracket squared. And if I do that, I end up with 9 plus x squared in bracket minus 2x squared is equal to 0. My target is to solve this particular equation. So if I simplify, I get 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Rearranging gives me x squared is equal 9, therefore x is equal plus or minus 3. So I can write x is equal 3, x is equal minus 3. 
Because I'm finding the coordinates, I need to work out the corresponding y values. So I take these two x values, substitute that into the equation for y to work out the corresponding y values. After substituting the x values into the y equation, I get when x is equal 3, y is equal 1 over 6. When x is equal minus 3, y is equal minus 1 over 6. Therefore, the coordinates of the turning points on C are 3, 1 over 6, minus 3, minus 1 over 6. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.